This video contains elements that can be overly disturbing, traumatizing, unsettling, that might be unsuitable to children and people with heart condition or certain medical conditions. Viewer's discretion is advised. Welcome to our channel. Today, we are going to mention some of the very disturbing, unsettling, spine-shivering psychological horror games of 2022. Psychological horror games are a subgenre of horror games with a particular focus on mental, emotional, and psychological states to frighten, disturb, or unsettle its audience. Some of the features of psychological horror games do overlap with surviving horror games, but the purpose is more than just surviving. These games focuses on making the player's experience disturbing, unsettling and abstract situations. Before starting on it, we hope you saw the warning at the start of the video. Now, without wasting more time, let's dig into it. Starting with The Mortuary Assistant. The Mortuary Assistant is a psychological horror game developed by Darkstone Digital and published by DreadXP. It was released on August 2nd, 2022. The game is basically a morgue simulator, where the protagonist named Rebecca Owens having completed her degree in mortuary sciences, have taken on an apprenticeship at Riverfield's mortuary for a mortician named Raymond Delver. Over the past several months Rebecca has logged many hours aiding the mortician in daily tasks, along with learning the ins and outs of the embalming process, as well as how to properly handle and care for the deceased. She is asked to come into work while Raymond is not feeling well. Strange things start happening in the mortuary to handle some embalmings. But there is something different about these bodies, because there is something different about the player character's past, and it is revealed that demons are possessing the cadavers. Next we got Madison. Madison is a first-person psychological horror game developed and published by Bloodiest Games. It was released on July 8, 2022. The story delivers an immersive and terrifying experience featuring disturbing gameplay and an unsettling and compelling narrative. You play as Luca, who endured the brute torture of Madison, a demon that has forced him to continue a gory ritual started decades ago, making him commit abominable acts. Every character in Madison has a disturbing story that blends seamlessly into the main narrative. You need to watch every step you make and be careful not to attract any unwanted attention, as you won't be alone. With the help of an instant camera, you can connect the human world with the beyond, take pictures and develop them by yourself. You will solve numerous puzzles, explore your surroundings and most importantly survive. Moving on to Martha is Dead. Martha is Dead is a dark first-person psychological thriller by Wired Productions, released in February 24, 2022. The story set in 1944 Italy that blurs the lines between reality, superstition, and the tragedy of war. As conflict intensifies between German and Allied forces, the desecrated body of a woman named Martha is found drowned. The story opens with the protagonist Julia discovering her sister Martha's corpse lying in the river near their house. We can't say much more than this, because there's a fairly big twist right at the start of the game that has a huge impact on how both the player and Julia will handle the rest of the story. Needless to say, however, the majority of the game focuses on trying to find out exactly what happened to Martha and who was responsible for her death. The hunt for the truth is shrouded by mysterious folklore and the extreme horror of war that draws ever closer. Next we got Inside the Backrooms. Inside the Backrooms is a co-op online horror game up to four players, where you and your friends will fight to escape from the different levels of the backrooms solving different puzzles with different mechanics in each one. It was developed by Mr. Fat Cat and published by Mr. Fat Cat and Drop Sick, and was released on June 20th, 2022. This game is based on the famous creepypasta, with many real references implemented such as iconic entities and important elements. You will have to explore each room, look for elements that help you to continue advancing throughout the game and unlock new areas, but the further you go, more dangerous it will be. You must pay close attention in the area, identify each entity, and know how to avoid them if you want to survive. Look for supplies, store them in your inventory, 
Explore all the rooms, solve puzzles, unlock areas of the map, interact, try to collect everything you find. The main objective of Inside the Backrooms is to engage players with its gameplay, difficulty, and atmosphere. There are countless identical rooms with an old, dirty carpet, and pale yellowish walls, where at first glance it gives you a gloomy and bad feeling, where you realize that it is not a safe place. Next is Father's Day. Father's Day is a psychological horror game by Emika Games. It was released on October 22nd, 2022. Under the control of the player are three characters, who alternate alternately. They are Police Sergeant Henry, Scientist Phil, and a relative of the missing child, Jonathan. The dream of living happily ever after was destroyed after Phil lost his wife and son. Obsessed with the desire to return them, he develops a plan that he does not tell anyone about. After a while, finding himself in the bathroom, with blood on his hands, Phil continues to work on his project. But at some point things don't go according to plan. Moving on to Backrooms 1998. The Backrooms 1998 is a first-person psychological survival horror game by Steel Krill Studio. It was released in March 26, 2022. It tells the story of a young teen after accidentally falling into the depths of the backrooms in 1998. Roam freely, mark, explore and try unravel the story, however you are not alone. Don't scream or it will hear you. Mind your footsteps, as if you step on glass it will hear you. If you knock over objects, it might hear you. Everything comes at a consequences. Search for supplies, tools and items to help in your escape. Such tools as a spray gun which can help you to mark your path, so you don't get lost in the backrooms. Things you may see in the shadows, are sometimes not shadows. Something or someone may be lurking in there with you. Use your stamina only when needed, and tread carefully. Hiding in crawl spaces, under tables, or inside lockers if you see something unusual, can be a good idea. And finally on today's mentions we got, within scary. Within Scary is a short horror game that places significant emphasis on creating an atmosphere of great terror, suspense, and anticipation for the player. Within Scary also features a dark and twisted storyline with events and audio that will send shivers down your spine. It is developed by Stanislaw Trukowski and published by Turnvex. Within Scary was released on February 8th, 2022. You will venture throughout the island and discover items solve puzzles, and learn about the dark story encompassing the island and its inhabitants. You will do all of this while being on edge, as you are stalked by the current residents of the estate. Within Scary includes several endings, all of which depend on the final choices you make within the game. The more items you collect, and the more story you uncover, the closer you may get to unlocking the final, true ending. So, that's it for today's mentions. I hope you found this helpful and interesting, and if you did, please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to stay updated to our new videos. Also let us know which psychological horror game did you find most disturbing and unsettling in 2022. We will be back soon with more amazing videos, 